Susan says, when working with homeopathy, can you use an acute treatment while a pup is on a deep chronic remedy? You want to answer that? Sure. I mean, you know, I think you know what I'm going to say is that yeah. it depends on, on the whole situation, but usually, yeah. Usually you can. You know, if if your pup is on a chronic remedy and injures itself or has a bee bite or then you can definitely reach for the, the arnica or apis or other acute remedy. Um but it's a real good idea in that situation to be under the care, you know, of a vet homeopath. Yeah. And I would even go a little bit further to say, um, this is also what we can call acute manifestations of chronic disease. If it isn't like a bite or some accident, it could actually be something coming to the surface that has been latent or even suppressed, and, right? And then it comes to the surface and you just don't want the animal to be miserable. So you can treat that knowing that you're gonna go back to their remedy um, what we call a fundamental or a constitutional remedy. So yeah, you can you can do that. I'm not quite sure um, you know what Susan was referring to, but yeah, either way, you just have to be cautious and kind of know what you're doing, follow it through. And if there's no obvious trigger, then there's good clinical evidence that up to 50% of the acute manifestations are actually a manifestation <laughs> of the underlying disease and the remedy that you give the acute may actually help both the acute and the chronic. Yep, there you go. Yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it? It's just, um, it's such an amazing, I hope you all know um, that we are classical homeopaths. <laughs> So the you know the way we talk about things is through the eye of a homeopath. Um, and I'm interviewing Dr. Richard Pitcairn. I think he's on Sunday, Sunday or Monday. I'm sorry, I'm getting everybody mixed up when they're there. Yeah. And uh, we talk extensively about homeopathy. And if any of you have any doubts about it at all, um, it's one of the most wonderful medicines for animals. There is no placebo effect, so you're not making up if they're responding to these little magic pills. And, um, and it's just wonderful to watch um, the response, you know, often very quickly um, to medicines, um, to avoid, you know, all kinds of those medical traumas that end up costing you a lot of money that you have to submit to insurance or, you know, there's so much you can do yourself. And... Um, that's my goal to keep helping people and yours too. Uh, and that that is right there. The the essence right now is what you're doing. And again, it kudos for doing this. You are empowering pet parents to basically take their pets to help proactively into mm -hmm. their own hands and giving them the tools and the framework do that with. Are you curious about a more holistic approach to your dog's health? In the next video, Dr. D. Blanco will discuss the benefits of homeopathy for dogs and how to transition. Click to watch now.